the rock and roll culture is so male dominated, and it also seems to be dominated by by sort of a hostility against women. You know that this sort of mm, this sort of sexual identity that is, is sort of used as a weapon against the populace. You know, and women in particular, and then everyone identifies with it. And it's sort of sad to me because what happens is that is that rock and roll stars. Uh, tend to end up isolating themselves more and more and more, you know, thereby increasing their own feelings of alienation and anxiety, and they wonder why they're so miserable, you know, that's when they, when they turn to drugs and destroy themselves. But it's just very silly. It just seems very silly. They lose, they, they lose uh, the ability to focus on themselves as a person, you know, rather than as, a, as an image, you know. And that's very dangerous, I think. And they're all, always, a lot of people around them, managers and Mm, scene makers, you know, groupies and whatever, that are willing to indulge them in anything they want, you know, and they, uh, it weakens them, you know, it weakens them as people and, and eventually weakens them as musicians.